with a raven black chassis that's accented only by the red track point nut on the keyboard and status lights on the lid and deck. Made of glass fiber reinforced plastic, the X260 can take a bit of a beating. Lenovo says that the laptop passed Melspec 810G durability tests for extreme temperatures, shocks and vibrations. At 12x8.2 x 0.8 inches and 3.2 pounds 3.6 pounds with extended battery the ThinkPad X260 is light enough to carry with ease and small enough to fit comfortably on most tray tables. Some competitors, such as the Dell Latitude A7273.6 pounds slash 12.2 x 8.47 x 0.47 inches and HP Elitebook 745 grams 3 3.4 pounds slash 13.3 x 9.3 x 0.74 inches are thinner but don't pack in as much battery life. Lenovo's laptop makes room for two batteries, one internal and a second removable unit that can have either three or six cells. The ThinkPad X260 comes with a choice of three different screen options, a plain 1366x768 display, a 1366x768 display with IPS for better brightness and color, or a 1920x1080 panel with IPS. Our review unit had the entry-level screen, which displayed dull, washed-out images without a lot of detail or screen real estate. Considering that the 1920x1080 screen costs only $150 more, the upgrade is a no-brainer. When I watched a trailer for Captain America, Civil War, Cap's blue suit and Iron Man's red armor both looked like they'd been soaked in bleach. According to our colorimeter, the X260S base screen can display only 67% of the sRGB color gamut, well below the 86% ultra-portable laptop category average 86 to Chiba Portage A30T 113HP Elitebook 745 grams 3 84% and Dell Latitude A7270 75. The screen registered just 184 nits, the measure of brightness, on our light meter which is just a bit more than half of the category average 307 and at least 30% dimmer than its nearest competitor, the Portage A30T. However, the matte panel seemed more than luminous enough while I was using it, and it provided wide viewing angles, with colors fading only slightly at 90 degrees to the left and right. A Dolby Audio APP comes preloaded to help you tweak the equalizer settings. The program offers presets for music, movies, voice calls and games, but I found the dynamic profile, which adjusts automatically, provided the best results, the ThinkPad X260S spill-resistant keyboard is comfortable, with snappy, well-spaced keys whose smile-shaped curves make them easy to target by feel. On the 10th AskEffort.com typing test, I achieved a solid 94 words per minute rate, which is typical for me, but with a slightly higher than normal 5.7% error rate. As with other Lenovo ThinkPad X-Series laptops, the keyboard has a reasonable amount of vertical travel, 1.6 millimeters, but not as much as T and W-series models such as the ThinkPad T 462.3 mm which provide an even better experience. The optional backlight was more than bright enough in both its low and high settings. Like other ThinkPads, the X260 offers two different navigation tools, a buttonless touchpad and a track point pointing stick. As usual, I found the track point both accurate and productivity enhancing as I was able to highlight text and move around the desktop without lifting my hands off of the home row. The ThinkPad X260 packs in almost all the ports a productivity user needs today, but we wish it had USB Type-C to future-proof it for tomorrow's peripherals and docks. The left side houses HDMI out, on the knee display port, two USB 3.0 ports and an optional smart card reader. The left side contains an Ethernet port, an SD card reader, an audio jack and a third USB 3.0 port. Its 720p webcam captured acceptable, but unimpressive images. Under the overhead lights of our office, my features were clear but not particularly sharp. When I shot in my nearly pitch black living room, the camera was able to capture a dark and noisy image, but at least my face was visible. Business users who need to conduct a video call will be satisfied. With an Intel Core i5 6300U CPU, 8GB of RAM and a 256GB SSD, our review configuration of the ThinkPad X260 was more than powerful enough to handle serious productivity tasks and multitasking. Lenovo's laptop handled everything we threw at it with a plumb, not slowing down at all even when I had more than a dozen active Chrome tabs open and a 1080p video playing in another window. On Geekbench 3, the synthetic benchmark that measures overall performance, the X260 scored a strong 6,424, which is comfortably ahead of the ultra-portable notebook category average, the AMD A8 powered HP Elitebook G3 and Core i5 6200U powered to Shibi A30T. However, the Dell Latitude A7270, which we tested with a Core i7 6600U processor, scored an even stronger 7,544. Lenovo's laptop had no problem crunching numbers, as it took just 4 minutes and 12 seconds to complete our spreadsheet macro test, in which we matched 20,000 names with their addresses. 
That's much faster than the category average 705 the Turchiba Portage A30T 431 and HB Elite Book 745 grams 3636. The Dell Latitude A7273 41 was a tad quicker. The 256 GB SSD on our review unit provided solid performance, copying 4.97 GB of mixed media files in 32 seconds. That's a rate of 157.1 MPPs, which is about on PAR with the category average 154.4 slightly ahead of the HP Elitebook 745 grams 3 124.1 and way faster than the 7200 RPM hard drive in the Toshiba Portage A30T41.9. The Dell Latitude A7270 returned a slightly stronger rate of 181.75 MPPs. The ThinkPad X260 offers truly epic battery life, provided you opt for the 6 cell. 72 watt hour extended battery. With a larger battery on board, Lenovo's laptop lasted a full 17 hours and 14 minutes on the laptop battery test, which involves continuous web surfing over WIFI at 100 nits of brightness. That's more than double the ultra portable category average 812 and latitude A7278 O2 Portage A30 T701 and HB Elite Book 745 Grams 3554. No matter what battery you choose, Lenovo gives you the ability to swap it out without having to turn off the computer. Using a system the company calls PowerBridge, the X260 has an internal 3-cell battery in addition to its removable unit, so the laptop can remain on potentially 4 hours even while its rear unit is out. Similarly sized competitors from HP, Toshiba and Dell don't even have removable batteries.